Hi, I'm Valerie from Motopress. Welcome to this new tutorial on our channel. In this video, you'll learn everything you need about WordPress templates. What templates are, their common types, and how to access them. And taking the opportunity, I want to remind you that this video is part of a series of lessons and workshops about full-site editing. You can also check more videos on our channel, and we have a playlist devoted to a full site editing experience where we share our tips and tricks on everything related to this topic with our subscribers. So don't hesitate and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be the first to know about new videos. And now let's get started. The first thing I should mention is that WordPress is a template-based system. This means that WordPress employs a series of pre-designed templates, or so-called blueprints, to build each part of your website. Every page on a WordPress site, without exception, is created using a template. Each template in its turn includes specific instructions for how to display different types of content in various parts of a page. I mean where the header goes, how the footer appears, the positioning of a sidebar, if the template has it, and of course the placement of the main content area, and so on and so forth. Page templates are always written for a specific page, or a group of pages, for example, the home page, blog post page, static page, archive page, and search result page. All of these pages have distinct templates. Thus, summing up all that being said in modern blog themes, templates are predefined structures that you can use to design a specific type of page on your website. Technically speaking, templates take dynamic data and wrap it into structured HTML markup, which is then sent to the browser. Simply put, templates are HTML files with block markup. A template controls the layout of your pages. Not to be confused with a the theme, templates are only part of what is called a WordPress theme. Uh, themes set the design of entire site and control the overall appearance, so your theme is a collection of templates, along with additional styling information like color schemes, typography, and so on, that together determine the look and feel of your website. Most WordPress themes include some standard WordPress template files, however, they may differ depending on the theme you're using. So you can check which templates are included with your theme by following the next simple steps I'll show you. You'll start in your WordPress dashboard and navigate to Appearance, Editor, click Templates, and after that, click Manage All Templates to see the full list of your site's templates. A great bonus is that all templates also include descriptions of their purpose. Now let's cover the common templates you're most likely to encounter. The front page template, as the name suggests, is used to render your site's front page. The main thing that you should know about it is that it takes precedence over the rest of the templates of your site, and it is used for both available options in the Front Page Displays section of Settings Reading. So it is used for both your latest posts or aesthetic page. If the front page .html file does not exist, WordPress will either use the home.html or page.html template files, depending on the setup in reading settings. 
So my theme actually has all of these templates. Uh, for example, this is my front page and uh, this is the home template displaying the latest posts as the posts page. If neither of those files exist, WordPress will use the index template. The index template, by the way, is used as a fallback template for all pages uh, when a more specific template is not defined. Concluding the topic of the blog, uh, my theme has also a single template and the single template styles your individual blog posts. A page template controls the layout of standard pages of your website, uh, such as an About Us or Context page. And some themes may also use the page template to display the home page. The All Archives template displays smaller groupings of posts uh, organized by categories, tags, and archives, which are typically posts by month, year, and other uh, time-based groupings. When you perform the search function, the results are displayed on a page using a search results template. The search results page isn't a regular page, by the way, it is an archive. It can have additional filters um, or, for example, show categories and tags. And finally, a 404 template is essential too. Let's say a user stumbles upon a page that doesn't exist anymore or hasn't been created yet. So it's important that your 404 page will give your visitors a way to arrive at the right place. And a good design uh, for a 404 page should have a title showing the users. This is the 404 page. The page should have a polite message about the error and the search function uh, should be included too. You can identify the template a page is using by visiting Pages in your WordPress dashboard and clicking a page's name to open that page in the editor. In the page settings on the right, under Summary, locate the template option and there you'll see the name of the template the page is using. If you don't see the sidebar on the right, click the settings icon in the top right corner to bring up the settings. This icon looks like a square with two uneven columns. And if you click on the name of the template, uh, with the help of the drop-down that appears, you'll see some other templates that you can choose from. Uh, changing a page's template to a different template will affect that page only, not your entire site. So, on a final note, every page on your WordPress website requires a specific type of template file that defines its distinctive features. For example, a theme can have a separate template for pages, posts, news updates, media files, calendars, and more. Indeed, templates form the backbone of a WordPress site, shaping its structure, design, and overall functionality. And this system is what enables design consistency throughout your website, while allowing each page type to have a unique layout. We hope this video helped you learn more about templates and if you still have any questions about WordPress templates, let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Have a nice day!